2000 something, I don't even know, that's how old it was, Toyota Corolla and I bought it cash and I didn't have a car note for a very long time and my car insurance because the car was so old was like 60 or 70. After teasing us with some cool weather for the past few days, I see that it is back to being warm. 89 on my dash and I got in the car. Yeah. Just now getting my car about to leave work. Oh my gosh. Oh. I got a lot of things done before I left. I just have some tasks to do. When I get home, um, yep, Monday is Monday. Yeah. Yep. Hope you all hope you all have been enjoying the vlogs. We started out on the weekend, so it was more excitement, but during the week, not as exciting. Um yeah. I take my lunch to work every day and there's this uh, it's called a Luna bar it's been in my lunch box and um, I usually have other snacks in there too so I have not gotten to this until today I was so hungry when I left work and I said let, let me eat on this it's 200 calories and I'm all about that uh, weight gain so that's fine with me 200 calories and it's a caramel walnut brownie. I didn't even taste the walnut. But walnuts are good for you. Uh, it's a brownie and it's gluten free. Uh, made with organic chocolate. Eight grams of protein. Yes. And low glycemic. And there's a quote on here. It says, it's a brilliant day to believe in you. And um, this is my first time actually eating a Luna Bar. I think I bought multiple ones from, I think, maybe Kroger. Yeah, and um, yeah, just first time trying. I saw it in the store and I was like, okay, I need more protein um, as like a snack after work. So I'm glad I picked this up. I'm glad I finally ate it. And I have some more in the house. I think I have like a white chocolate one. But yeah, this is pretty good. Luna Whole Nutritional Bar. Nutrition Bar. Let me know. Do you all eat Luna? And if so, what uh, flavor do you all like? This is a good. So the company was created back in 1999 as the first nutrition bar for women. And I didn't even know this was for specifically women. That's pretty cool. All right. Let me end this uh, right here until a little bit later. What's the first thing y'all do when y'all get home? I have a pretty set routine. When I get home, this is the first thing I'm doing right here. Coming out of the shoes, leaving them wherever they may. And, um, yeah, I usually, like, take my hair down and I find my way to the couch. <laughs> and I, then I watch a little bit of YouTube. But this week, I want to do things a little differently. 
Um, I'm still gonna come in and take off my shoes. I usually come out of my work clothes, get comfortable, but I wanna read this week. So I'm going to fix me something to eat because I'm still hungry, even though that Luna Bar did do a little something. It lasts me over. It's going to last me over until my meal gets done because I'm still hungry. But um, while I'm waiting for the food to get ready, I'm going to read a book. And I need to decide which book I'm going to read. Uh, I got so many books I want to read. And I've kind of like been putting things on the back burner and not reading rarely even though i want to but after listening to a couple of podcasts i've been inspired to do better so this book is an option but i don't think i got a oh so yesterday i was reminded well i've had this book for a while but i've never finished it's called tipping point i want to read though if i can find tipping point in my um house or either on my um ebook app i'm gonna read that so it's either gonna be this one thoughts are powerful so this one or tipping point if you've read this book or tipping point let me know in the comment box below if there's a book you really like that you just finished or you're currently reading it comment below and suggest that book for me whether it's non-fiction personal development or a uh, fiction i like either one i typically find myself reading a lot of fiction but also like a uh, nonfiction. All right, this may be the end of my vlog for today because there's nothing else exciting I'm gonna be doing. I'm about to pull my hair down, put my bunny on, and I'm not gonna be coming on camera with no bunny on. So, I hope your Monday has been fabulous. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you all on Tuesday. Peace. All right, so I wasn't planning to come back on camera, but I was just scrolling on social media I haven't read yet. I got distracted because I started talking to my sister. But anywho, um, disregard that fire truck and stuff like that. I, I think it's a fire station really close because I'm always hearing fire trucks. But anyway, so I was looking at the hashtag. I saw last night right before I was about to go to sleep, which I was already going to sleep late. I saw the hashtag forever ducking and I started clicking like trying to piece together this story and what it was about. And so uh, I was able to piece together what I could within the 30 minutes I had to scroll and stuff like that from one hashtag to another to clip some of a video on IG. But anyway, just now on Facebook, I saw um, they have a website and the website kind of tells the story. But everybody's like for, forever dunking me and stuff like that and wanting what, I think her name is Cheryl, wanting what Cheryl received on October 1st, a proposal as well as uh, a wedding on the same date to her surprise. Um, and what I want to say is that is a lovely, and it just a reminder that love and true love and committing and dedicating yourself to someone is still a reality. It's still possible. And for those who are single, like me, uh, you know, it's just, it's pretty cool to hear about those stories. Now, in terms of do I want things to go down like they went down for her, I want my my own story, meaning whatever the man who's supposed to propose to me is going to decide to do, as long as he does it genuinely, he does it with a, um, a heart for me and whatever uh, he thinks will bring joy to me and just solidify our union, I'm fine with that. I mean... Like, it doesn't have to be super, you know, spectacular. As long as it's genuine and he's going to be there for me and he's uh, committing to me, I mean, that's that's all I need, you know? So it's awesome uh, hearing the bits and pieces I have of their story, but I'm not saying I want that to be my exact story. Um, and I'm one of those, like, of course I want there to be some footage of, you know, the actual proposal, some pictures taken, but I also don't have to have it like all across social media. Even though I like uh, interacting on social media, I don't have to have, you know, my story out there like that. Um, now, yeah, that's not just not someone requesting. Not to say that she requests that, but I just want to make the point that whatever your relationship uh, represents, own it and 
allow that to be your relationship. Don't look to mimic or match anyone else's. And that's also like in friendships as well. Let your friendship or your connection with people be your connections. Don't try to mimic or match anyone else's. Now, of course, if you want to be stronger and better, you can look for solid and um, good examples to follow, but you don't want to mimic anyone because every relationship and every interaction is different. Um, I'm off my, my little soapbox. So I wanted to come on camera and say that really quickly because I was thinking about it earlier, but I wasn't quite sure what I was going to say. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check out the hashtag Forever Duncan, check it out. It's definitely a tear jerk. When I first saw it, she had on all black, so I was thinking, I wasn't thinking that it was what it was. Um, but she was beautiful. Um, everything seemed like it was planned out to a T to her surprise. And the whole dynamics of like how their relationship is set up, she was going along with it thinking it was a create your date day so it's a pretty cool idea that within a relationship they create a date day and so the other partner when it's their turn they get a chance to plan everything for the other person and the other person has to go along with it and of course you go along because this person you love you're with you you trust them pretty much but yeah share your thoughts about it if you haven't seen it and i mean if you have seen it if you haven't seen it go check it out it's all across facebook instagram twitter but uh yeah okay i'm done for real now all right, I had to take my butt out to get back on camera. <laughs> you all enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I will see you on Tuesday. Peace.